Karibu sana. Welcome, Welcome back. back. My name is Sako and I'm so excited. This is still Why in the Morning and this is the last segment of the show. This is a morning show that runs from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. You can find us on Facebook, Insta and on Twitter at Y254 channel. The ladies have had an amazing conversations about different uh, topics right here, especially that led to career and entrepreneurship. And I love the fact that in this segment we're going to build up on the whole conversation that they've had and we're going to talk about how to curate an amazing, a competitive, outstanding brand that can get you out there, especially when it comes to connecting. In a day and age where everyone is on social media, how do you make money out of that? And especially at an individual level, live alone just a company or a family as well. So we're going to delve into that and much more. But before I get too far, I have a powerful guest in studio with us. Uh, you might have seen him on blogs. Heart of him, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, hop on a pallet. But today he's going to clarify some two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten things for us. So stick around. The one and only Silver Kiddo is live with us in studio. He's a radio and TV host. He's also a brand influencer working with so many brands out there, especially all your favorite celebrities in the 254, some of them that you know, that you love and follow dearly. First of all, good morning. Nice to meet you for the second time or the first time? Second, second time. Oh, this is second time? Yes. Because we met somewhere else. Yeah. Right. Good morning Tango as well. Right. Thank, Thank you. How are you feeling? Me. Good. Grateful yeah. to be here. All right. Yes. Kuna kuna streets. Streets is not so Streets. Streets is not so No branding is branding. No branding is? Branding. Yes. You know Manisha? If, if you don't brand yourself, it's still yeah. branding. If you brand yourself, it's still branding. Wow. Yeah. So either way, mediocre is still good, or mediocre can be bad, or mediocre is still bad, bad. Bad, bad. Bad, bad. Yes. Wah, 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 wah. I'm lost. I'm lost, but to, to clarify, to keep my lead. All right. Now, just talk about a little bit, uh, a brief story about yourself. How did you get here? To a place, you're working with people that I just, I'm like, hey, so when this idea me on your side, bro, we're not going to have connections. Okay, I'll say is, uh, we get opportunity. It's, it's how you maximize the opportunity. Uh -huh. So I came to Nairobi, uh, Miso okay. Nairobi. So I came to Nairobi for school. No. I get to work for a company, a marketing company. Okay. During the, those events and activation and promotion, I get to interact with now these uh, influential people, the celebrities. Okay. So through the opportunities, I managed to network, uh, identify myself, okay. package myself, introduce myself, and finally maybe get the contacts. Then okay. from there, we started now meeting, interacting, building trust, and then end up working now with the celebrities right. you've mentioned earlier. Wow. Yeah. Um, mentioned, um, mentioned connecting, interacting, and building trust, mm -hmm. which, 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 which I believe they're very core when it comes to networking and also influencing and even selecting clients that you influence as a brand influencer. Would you just share a little bit of that and how important it means? To, okay, uh, every, every person uh, has or he she has or has her own way of communicating. Okay. For one to build a trust, I'm to win a trust of someone, you have to prove to yourself, like you have to prove to them as well. Okay. You can deliver, you can work with uh, pressure, of course, you can, you can be there, you can severe, severe with them, you can persevere with them, you can okay. wait uh, for that time to come. Because uh, working with artists, it's something that it takes process. It's a process, it's a journey, because okay. you have to understand how he or she works, how right. he or she wants things to be done. Right. You have to step up to your game. <coughs> and then the more you do projects with them, the more you deliver, the more you do your best, okay. it brings you closer to them. It's right. not about that if I give you a thousand bob, you go buy a shopping for me, you need to come with a receipt to right. prove that this is the balance of 10 bob. But right. if I give you a thousand bob, how can you use that thousand bob well? Am yeah. I in the right way? To multiply. Yes, yes. So I'll say uh, I've been blessed with, um, I have a unique, um, I don't know, uh, is it a soft spot? A, okay. I can easily connect yeah. and interact with people. Right. Plus, uh, I'm normally patient. Okay. Like I can learn, I can wait, and then... Right. Is there something you built over time through experience? Of <coughs> course you have to build through experience because uh, Every individual, I like can, uh, identity, I can, yeah. uh, the way you love things to be done. Right. So the way you interact, the way you learn. You've got to smart from Janja. So, okay. Okay, we are not street smart. Yeah, we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it
kiinteract na huyo nataka vitu tufanywe hivi kuna wale wanataka formal communication yeah. kuna wale wanataka timu za maliza over the phone call kuna wale wanataka text you know yeah. kuna wale wanataka to kwa hapo we just need to go do the things on their behalf yeah right. so i'll see interesting uh, i'd also like you to talk about uh, your first biggest breakthrough when you were starting out and how was it like moody likwaje your time the one the time you're starting to venture into what you do right now what were the things that were happening what was going on in your life for anyone who had no idea okay. this is what made you yeah. okay uh, how things happen is very fast i met butita okay. was it uh, 2018 okay yeah so how we were working how we were working with butita was very interesting you know we started with the projects developing another projects idea productions movie series working okay. together so by the time you realize because in life you have to reinvent all right true. if you if you start as a a director or a producer or a writer scriptwriter an editor you have to at the end of the year you have to achieve a certain yeah. level you know you have to see yourself are you growing okay. is there a growth in your life so the moment we were working with butita the moment we were coming up with ideas and inventing our ideas so yeah. by the time i realized people could see and say hey this guy has grown yeah. or this guy has reached this level because <coughs> yeah. for me to ask me like it's it's, it's not something like a one year off it's from 2017 Yeah. Up to now it's small over like 2 or 5 years 6 years, years. Total, you see yeah. so for you guys to see what i've done what i'm doing after 6 years is something that i invested in the last 5 6 years right. yeah so, so were there like obstacles that you course, faced of course of course of course uncertainty yeah. say like eh mungu sasa itai jipa because of course we live in a day and age where you know they say trust the process mm. but now we are turning it we want the process to trust us yes. if i get something that can hack very fast mm. and then when our stories are washed so i don't know what is your mindset on that okay me what i'll say is that uh, it depends now uh, a time shortcut doesn't pay you know but for for you to re- to remain relevant you see I rather start take a longer journey but I'm learning through the way I'm making mistakes I'm correcting myself by the time na achieve ama nitafika ama nitaka kufika I'm already prepared to have it yeah. if you give me like right now 10 million 20 million 40 million I can I can manage, I can manage it in the right way but if if you give me like the first year when you put 20 million 40 million I could manage it so yeah. I'll advise someone to to invest in in, in the process yeah. if you have to go to Tanzania to study if you have to sacrifice no payment sleepless night you know yeah. just trust the process because yeah. along the way you learn to interact because if it's not for butita yeah. or working with butita i could never be working with other brands big brands in the country okay. because through him i've managed to reach out to one more work with bigger names to reach out to bigger places and then yeah. to be able to achieve what uh, I achieve are you willing to mention the bigger names <laughs> there's so many Yeah you can mention the Sita, most credible Sita No no it's okay mm. yeah kuna unajua kuna zile the highlights and now this the main highlights like wife main chick side chick <laughs> in another context no. Okay um what I'll say is that uh, the, the top creatives in the industry I've managed to work with them I've managed to call them talk to them interact with them some I've managed to represent them in their meetings Okay. So it's more of a family because it's open. I cannot say that I will never work with you or I'll work with you. But right. through whatever I've achieved I've managed to connect because at times I just need to call someone maybe or whenever I need something else I can just refer someone or someone calls me hi kiddo I need to reach out to so and so how can I be able to do that? I just need to make a call hi my name is so and so uh yeah. someone will call in regards to this. Yeah. Basically that's it. Just using your name how powerful is that because it's not that powerful it's very powerful. powerful imagine somebody calling and saying hi yeah. nimeambiwa na sako ni kuja and then it just happens you know i can say and it's a big a, position i can say it's an opportunity whereby i'm not that at in that space but i can try help okay. few individuals you know naweza kusaidia uko na cv ileta tupeleke hapa sema nani amekutuma right but sina that influence at at sasa na wati naweza kutuma status yeah wende one rais I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> But there's people anyways I'll ask you, hey and I'm blah 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 blah. Mm. It, it's it's magical and amazing mm. to you know have such an experience in life. Mm-hmm. But then also at the same time still back to your influencing part. Mm. Uh, 
We live in a world where everybody is on social media. Yes. And uh, especially for people that want visibility online, but now let's narrow it down to business. Mm. Are there maybe things that they should do? Is there a strategy that they should follow? And even for yourself, how do you? What is the criterion that you use to accept clients? What are some of the uh, demands that they should meet, and uh, from their side and also from your side as a person who is a promoter? And of course, I know your aim is to connect with people, share content that creates conversations, and these conversations create. A uh, community of people who will then connect. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a world or a web of people. How do you do that? Okay, what I'll say is that uh, you need to build uh, a team okay. because you can't do it alone. Uh -huh. So as a creative, you need to interact with people. You normally interact with people. So right. as a brand, you need to identify yourself, identify your niche as a brand. Uh -huh. Who are you as a brand? What do you do? connect with your with your audience? You know, it's easy for for you to sell as an individual than you sell. Because always you are, of course people are diversing, yeah. but you cannot be a, a content creator as well, you're an MC as well, you, you are the manager as well, you, are, you see. So your audience will love to see you. Okay. Do you have a special a logo? Do you have a company? Do you yeah. have a voice that someone can listen, can tell that this is so and so? The way right. you dress, the way you yeah. connect with people. Yeah. Are you investing back in terms of now, how are you pushing your, your content? How can you attract uh, partners? Right. Can you sell uh, ads? Can you sell uh, squeeze box? Can you sell uh, uh, subscriptions to them? You know? Right. Yeah. So, so the way you package yourself, the way you do your content, uh, present yourself, package yourself whereby, if I'm asking you to create a content for me, you have a production team. You're ready to, to, to execute. You have a plan, you know? Yeah. Whatever you do, it's, it's something different. Compete. Uh, like try to find yourself an identity whereby people will see you as so and so. They won't see yeah. you like no is an afanya kama ana copy kena ama flaco, you know. Right. There's a lot in that space as, as well by the way. Ah, so you are a reality TV show, spew you are cocoa. Yes, yes. These two are merging and trying to compete. Yes. But at the same time, which is good publicity mm. for social media because people will keep on talking anyways. Mm. When people talk, they mm. connect. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and then you have to be relevant. No, relevant. Uh, because your content uh -huh. people sells, you know. So what will make somebody relevant or a company relevant? Uh, it depends now with the, the strategy you're using to, to push. Okay. And then, uh, of course, your product. Your product sells 100%. Right. If you're a comedian, if you're a radio host, if you're uh, 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 an actor, an artist, a musician, yeah. your product. Uh -huh. If it's your music, if it sells, it will sell you. Right. Yeah. So in, in, in our Kenyan industry, mm. uh, since you also work with artists and actors and, 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 and others as well, mm. what do you think are the missing links, especially when it comes to uh, visibility? Is it a must to an Afanye, the cloud chasing part? Whereas you have to stage, you are in a spa, and then you're being caught by your side chick, and then it's all dramatic, mm. it turns out it was fake. Must you go down that, you know, uh, murky road for you to receive attention and numbers because right now when you do something crazy that's when people talk about it but you know when you help somebody and you give them money to start life that won't be interesting that's what people want to talk about you know okay me what I'll say is that uh, as an artist what you've identified yourself uh, it all depends now what do you want to achieve at the end what's your end goal because uh, if you use Kiki it works for you well and good it will give you views it will give you uh, talkability but at the end of the road, will it bring now, will it attract another audience, will it bring business to you, will, will it work for you? Those right. are the questions, you know. Right. Uh, if you want to do it the right way, for example, just need to do good music, but I always tell people, you have to do the right marketing. Because no, marketing. if I can yeah, invest, because people do, it's very funny, uh, someone yeah. will, will call a director, will look for a location, a designer, a makeup artist, yeah. uh, extra, pays the audio, the producer and everything. But when it comes to now distribution of the music, that's yeah. where we get it wrong. And that's another full-time job. Yeah, because, you see, uh, you don't depend on friends. I know Kido, I know DJ so-and-so, I know a producer. I'll share my work with Ataiza Kushara Isi. But if you invest in the right channel of distribution, there are agencies and marketing companies that will handle the distribution. Because if yeah. you can't market on what you've invested, even if it's 10 million, 5 million, it's yeah. Africa yeah. So that me, after I always say, and I always advise people, distribution, marketing is very, very key. Right. Yeah. But uh, when, you look, when you look at types of content as well, mm. I, th I think there's types of content, like people that do lifestyle, 
Mm-hmm. There's uh, stations that do, even also when it comes to radio, there's talk radio, there's interviewing, mm-hmm. there's so many formats mm-hmm. now that come mm-hmm. into radio, which you also do. Do you feel like also when it comes to media, uh, there's, there's things that need to be done, especially when it comes to marketing of programs, uh, also distribution, you mentioned distribution mm-hmm. of programs. And since you also work in radio, mm-hmm. what are some of the hacks that you know a company that's in this space can do to ensure that they always stay relevant? When you look at the most relevant stations, there's just something that they do. Of course, uh, what I say consistency, it depends now with the kind of uh, the, your audience. Okay. If, if what keys, just to mention few, are using, right. you see, there's a tap, type of audience you're targeting. If you're targeting the mass audience, the Mamboga, the Mutu yeah. Boda Boda, there are certain strategies that you need to use. If yeah. you're targeting the mid class, right. you know, the, the, the drivers, uh, yeah. the working class, you know, yeah. if you're targeting those guys in current, you know, mm-hmm. there are certain strategies you need to use. But I'll say it narrows down now to the, to the team. Team has to come down with strategies because things are, are changing because we are, we are in the digital era whereby um, everyone is on social media. News that we can give you WhatsApp, kuna breaking news. We can Twitter, something is happening. Other yeah. social media first platforms, something is happening. So yeah. as an individual, I'll say that you just need to be updated. Kitambo told me, ah, TikTok, ni watoto, oh, Facebook, ni kina nani, but you see, Everyone is there right now. So as a company, we just have to get it right in terms of now the audience, then I consume content, how can I deliver my content, Richako Nigani, and then time frame. Because Kitambo is going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are uh, mm-hmm. Now, uh, when it comes to, uh, as well, uh, when it comes to the style, mm. the style of doing content, mm. do, you, do you also feel like there should be a certain specific style of delivery? I used to watch uh, Wendy Williams a lot in, when I was growing up, mm. and the likes of Kina 106 and Park. I wanted to be like Terence J, I wanted to be like Bow Wow, those times when TV was only MTV mm-hmm. back then. But then you realize how they used to deliver their content on radio and TV as well. Mm. It was so unique, and it made a lot of people gravitate towards them because of their fashion sense, how they speak, their personality, and that just sparked everything. Right now, do you think we should have a style for that as well? Of course, uh, time is changing, things are changing, so you have to evolve. Yeah. If it's working, if the new t- is, this is the new trend, you have to go that way. So you have to always keep, uh, keep changing up with and everything, yeah, because you see, the way um, people, I, I'll use this example, uh, for you to, br- to have a breakthrough, you, need, you needed to have a platform, a Churchill platform, you know, right. for any artist, you know. Right. For an artist, a musician to break through, alikoni itaji kuchezo kwa radio stations. Right. You get it? But say kuna other distribution platforms, kuna right. other, just to mention the Spotify, and, 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 yes, and yes. Same, same on, uh, on now, the artists and content creators, they right. have their own other social media platform to push their work. So right. as time goes, unafatu kwa mjanja. We can introduce another platform, a social media platform. Yes. Uh-huh. Because I'm also looking at it from a place of balance. How do you balance? Una kujo post TikTok, una kujo post YouTube, una kujo post WhatsApp, una kujo post Instagram, una kujo post Facebook, una rudi to another platform. Like, how do you balance those platforms, especially for somebody who is starting up? Because I believe you also have to have an online personality. Like, if, like for you, if, if, if the consistency is visible, like, you'll be here tomorrow, you're doing this, still going there, and it's, it's, it seems like it's creating a, a, a pattern. Mm-hmm. Now, for somebody who doesn't, ha- who doesn't know, you know, how to go down that road, one is a fanyanini. At, if you love what you're doing, I'm sure you'll create at least 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or one hour just to create content. But what I'll say is that if you can do it alone, it, it now depends. Uh, not every time you can post content. It depends on your audience. Kuna a time you can post a morning post, kuna sasita, kuna jioni, depending on the content you've created. But what I'll say is that if, you just try to find time. If you can do it alone, um, <clears throat> get someone else to, to help, help out. You. Yeah, no. sort it out. But uh, it's good time when uh, to post real time content because if you have an idea if you, if, if you can't execute on time someone else will do it so right. you had an idea maybe to do this kind of content tomorrow someone else has done it right yeah so me always advice idea comes execute right yeah and then dange can dange now, when it comes to competition, managing competition, of course, it's very competitive. Mm. Before you get those numbers, and uh, to m- mention story of publicity stance, and, and I'd like you to just explain mm. how bad is good publicity and how good is bad publicity? 
Publicity is publicity. Uh -huh. That's what I say. If it's okay, the other artists that uh, we want uh, to focus more on that positive side, but uh -huh. the artists that have branded themselves with as it, controversial. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You know, at the end, if it's working for you, it's working for you. But what I'll say is that as an artist or a creator or a musician, just do what is right. You know, the, the Jay Z doesn't. I don't want Kiki, but Kiki is also not your. Behind you, they script nicely, you can buy the idea, they sell the vision, the plan, you know? Like it's a marketable strategy. Eh, at the end, it's something that will sell for them. So you're doing a, a Kiki worth uh, 400,000, it gives you 100k views. Right. Does it add up? Mm, somehow it could be. 100 for views. Some, for some, <laughs> oh, 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 I thought it's 100,000. <laughs> oh, come it's 100. 100 yeah. views, Nicky Dogo. So. But if you're starting up, you need to, to, to people to know you, it's the shortcut. Yeah. So, so you must go through your long process like but 10 views, 20 views. Yes, even us, we started with one subscribers. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Illustrious uh, motivation. I started with one chapati. My now, eyes smoking. Now I own the whole factory. <laughs> 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 and, anyways, I, I think it's an, it, it requires a lot of patience. Like yes, you say. yes. Now when it comes to some of these specific celebrities, who is... Who can I say is a uh, vocal sana sana? KRG the Don, he's very controversial and uh, dramatic, uh, I'd say. He's, he's really dramatic. Mm. Kidogo Kidogo, he has 100 million. Kidogo Kidogo, he's gifting somebody 20 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. As in, how, how is that, why is that pattern though? Okay. Is it, is it from, your, from your mind, is it working for him? You see, what keeps KRG in town is what he does. Kama ngi kwa nafanya zifu tunafanya mungu kwa mjua mungu msikia. So wako mjini because of what he does and the people love what he does. So if it's ah. working for KRG, let KRG be. Alright. That's what I say, you see. At the end, Simpo Boy produce nice songs, but utuwa yuna Simpo Boy ya kipigi ya kiki. But utuwa na Simpo Boy ya kitu kanana na nani? Na pretty vision. Na it's working. So it's working for them. Oh, so in short, these guys are, are using their misery to make us feel some type of way. No. And, and they're, they're pumping money, money into the misery and marketing it and, and manipulating it, and then want to post it on social media. No, if someone is rich, is rich. Kerry is rich. You can see. Oh, oh he's rich. Yes, he's rich. rich. Okay. okay. What about our court court before we digress? You see, uh, I avoid talking about. I mostly, I mostly avoid to talk to in terms of artists, but I know they're good friends. If someone is living a good life, you'll see in the social media is living a good life. If you have a nice suit, I'll see you wearing a nice blazer. You see. So what I'll say is that... Uh, uh, there's one here. Uh, there's one here. Uh, this was, I think this was Eric Omondi being arrested on us. I think this day I was with my co-host and I went to check. He was in the street. He was arrested. Story of Amanda Mano before to, to, to take a break. Do you think this is helping to change anything? Okay. What Eric is doing, Eric is, has been fighting for the industry for so long. He's trying to change different narratives. Plays and 5K e music. Okay. We've managed to go to parliament, presented a bill. We're still waiting for everything. Uh, at the end, Eric is, is pushing for artists to step up and work and deliver, you know, because our neighbors' countries are doing much than we are doing. Oh, yeah. KRG is doing whatever he's doing. This is on your page, by the way. Yes, yes. They're good yeah. friends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've worked with them, so you can't talk anything smart. No, they, they are, <laughs> on an individual basis, they have their own, um, I say, personality. Uh -huh. the human How would you judge uh, Eric's and KRG? The in different terms of, artists. In terms of that following and strategy okay. influencing. In terms of what Eric is, Eric is a comedian. Uh -huh. Stand-up comedian, a creative, now a core activist. Okay. KRG is a musician and a creative. So we're on a different space. Okay. Yes. So who has more numbers? Or, uh, Eric is, the, who Eric has is more inf impactful influence. Because I, I feel like for Eric, it's, it's really impactful in, in some way, though not that design, but I, I'd like to know KRG's impact. Though. In terms of numbers, Eric is very big. He's the most followed. Mark. Yeah. He calls himself the king of comedy. President Africa. of comedy Africa. President of comedy yes. Africa. KRG, I can impact. Say KRG, if you want to mention a few influential artists or celebs or musician in 254, he's among the list. Top three, actually, is among the list. Okay. Yes. Now, but you've seen I, it. Akira Mali, crowd. But they're not all going to somehow do music yake, so I was lost. Ah, uh, yes, that's how we Of course, Kenyans will always deny they don't know someone. For See how we know how we behave. Atami wata somehow join is key. Hey, they don't know you. <laughs> so someone will say, I don't know, Kido is Kido. But Bono na jua Larry Bado. Okay, you see, 
Lenny Madu have been in the industry for how long? Yeah. I'm going mainstream, I'm going TV. Yeah. For the last, I don't know, seven, eight years. For like 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Before NDCNN, I'm going to go to TV, I'm going to go to over 3 million every day. I'm going to go to radio every day. I'm going to go to the Yes. But one of my sisters, my dilemma is why, why the insults? This guy is just posting an Ajipaka makeup on the show. Oh, had like 5,000 comments to the Matusi, Matusi, Matusi. What makes people uh, triggered in a way that they can't celebrate something good that you're posting? They'll try to deviate and find a story from your past. Why is it like that when it comes to social media? And yet, the people are just genuinely posting. Or maybe they're not genuinely posting as well because you're not on the other side. We just don't know. What are your negativity? Okay, we, we live in, a, 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 in an environment whereby we love to hate. Oh, so, people love to uh, hate. People love to hate. Okay. They've turned it into their careers. Some have turned into uh, the way of expressing themselves because we're going through a lot. So the only way maybe I can express, um, I can show my, um, I can release my stress is going to a certain post, work a negative post, leave the place. Okay. Uh, people love to hate. Okay. Uh, so if, if, if you're doing the right thing, people will hate. If you're not doing the right thing, people will still hate. So, society is evil. In short, Taylor Swift, haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Yes. Now, you can't please everyone. Trust me. At over you, Blaza Umeva. Okay. A thousand people will not say that you're looking good. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, let's switch a little bit to your brand personality. Uh, what do you think you're giving? What is the vibe that you give on social media? If somebody lands on your page, either TikTok, Facebook, whatever, or what, from your mind, <laughs> maybe it could be something else. But from you, what do you think is the personality that you're giving online? Because I know there's a very big difference between being an online personality now in real life. Totally different. But in as much as you're trying to match the two, like what you do online is exactly what you do in real life. I try to separate because my personal life, I don't bring it on social media. But uh, what I'll say is that I always say sell hype. And uh, simplicity, simplicity is everything. So I keep it simple all the time. So keep it on a mimic social media, I'm keeping it simple. But on a mimic yeah. ground, go street. Yeah. Yes. There's interesting feedback coming through. Uh, your, your latest short film with the Butita Anastoto. Yes. I just watched the highlight. Mm. I saw them on another TV show last week. Mm. So they're saying they love it. We talk about how you created that and how it managed to take over social media again by story. You see, you see, what is changing right now, we need to understand that we, we have a different audience. We have the Gen Z. Right. So we try to position ourselves in the next 10 years how will we remain relevant in the game? So the content we create, we try to incorporate with now uh, the characters, the real-time situation, action on ground. Right. So, you can see that you can TikTok, and dance, and talk, and do anything. Bado ni daktari, bado ni nurse, bado ni... Pediatrician. So we try to come up with an idea whereby it will sell to the audience, it will appeal to everyone. Yeah. That's why you have the, you see the cast, you can see and then the scripting, Right. Unless it's a freestyle show, akuna ku kizungu mingi. It's what happens in the society, you know. Mtu na ingia pana sema anda kuta iriwa. Right. You know. Oh, the doctor is just having an awkward moment with the yeah. patient. Yeah. Uh, and it happens. How many times you've gone to the government offices? The receptionist. Right. Yeah. Madaktia na kuzanga maswali za kijenga sima sema kama maswali za clinic. Right. You know. I'm at a police station. Eh, yeah, police <laughs> kushika tao unenda api ni ni ni. Yeah. You're like, I have a right to be, to be alive. Why are you asking me about my life? So, so, so that's what you're trying to bring. Yes, we're trying to, to fit. Now we've already hack, hack it. Right. So we are there in the space. Right. So it has a budget. Uh, you guys had a budget. How do you guys get funding? Okay, how we run it is that uh, we have a, a, a company, SPM Studios. It's, okay. it's, it's, a, it's, it's big. Studio, it's one of the best studios in, in 254. Okay. So we normally have a team. Uh, from the previous projects we've done, okay. from what we've done before, uh, we, we have a, a budget to run. At the end of the day, per episode, we spend like four, four, four to five hundred yeah. for it to just to, 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 to air on, on, on YouTube and social media platform. Right. So we normally run with budget, but we've managed to partner with few individuals, I'm a partners. That's why you see sometimes Kunazile credits powered by, sponsored, presented by, so and so. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which are also some of them you work with? Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, then on the other side, side there's radio. radio. You guys have an interesting radio station. I, I know I'll pass there very soon. Mm. To just say hi, not to work. Mm. <laughs> yeah. how, 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 how is that working with what you guys are doing? Because now radio is very heavy, and I love radio. Mm. I say it's my first love. You can check on Instagram. Mm. Radio is very heavy. Uh, sourcing for radio talent, uh, personality for radio, persona, content, distribution. How did you guys create that part and, and brought it into fruition? And of course, right now it's very competitive. If you look at the top radio stations, they have top personalities who have extremely interesting personalities as well for delivery. How did you guys hack that? It's, uh, I can say for now is that uh, we understand what the audience want. We have our own uh, target. So it's, it's what is trending in the market, what people want to hear. It's all about the conversation and the vibe. You know, so we bring, we have young energetic host, radio TV host. No. We try to fit, um, we try to position ourselves whereby we can be able to appeal to them. You okay. know, so get the vibe, get the energy, get the best host, have right. the best studio, sell the best agenda, the intro, the branding strategy that you to me. It sells out and makes us maybe unique. In, right. in, the, in the space. Right, talk about how podcasting, let, let's incorporate. Podcasting which is uh, a big trend right now, especially mm. when it comes to content creation. Mm. Do you feel like it's going to take over radio? It is taking and, and over. And there's somebody, there's somebody, I think it was Andrew Kibbe who said, radio is dead. <laughs> okay, that's, that's what Andrew Kibbe thinks, but what I'll say is that, at the end, kill him to consume content different. Uh, if I'm comfortable listening to a podcast, well and good. If I'm that kind of a person, if I drive a town on a radio, listen to a radio show or a drive show, it's working for me, it's good. But in future, are you prepared? What's happening in future? Because at the end, yeah. we will not have that time to listen to radio. Right. You know? So but radio, which is the most uh, powerful platform, especially to reach out to low interior, especially, for example, Seizu and Garisa Kulandani. Rarely will you see a lot of people sitting in front of a TV. They are, they are with their, they call them Katulus mm. or the Kadulas. Mm. Mm. So I feel like radio is still one of the most Yes, it is, media. but you see now, is that we've not, uh, okay, Mashinani, those areas, suburbs, Wapu Kondani, Utapata, Waseba don't prefer formal of communication, is true, maybe radio, yeah. I'm a phone call, Kolamto is here, WhatsApp, Kasi, Manonani, Hectic, and then the, the coming generation, right. you see, those are old generation, right. the coming generation, want to buy, could download app, or skiza radio online, could download a stream, could download a kungia on YouTube, now the rest, want to Come on, as we to, we may believe some more than some corner news. You get it. So we cannot change things. But in future, now it's just a matter of time. Things will change. Right. Yeah. Before we get to the ethics of, of what you stick around, what what you stand for. Mm. For example, uh, for us, why to for to not to market on your digitals? Mm. Uh, what should we? Wh what do you require from us? Or what are the What is the criterion that you'd use to vet us so that we get onto your social media? Uh, one, I have to feel like we can, like, I don't know how to put it, but is that, uh, are we in line on, on, are we in line together? Like, can we work together? Are we in the same space? Because I don't, I can't work with someone that it's a competitive, I made it hard for me to execute your content. Because okay. what you guys do, right. if I feel like I can add value, I might have interest in what you guys do, it will be easy for me to execute. Okay. You know, because maybe the content is the same, the plan, the idea, uh, right. and the studies so, you plan to use may be the same. Okay. And then another thing is that I always tell people, uh, consistency is, is, is very, very key. Right. Like, are you guys, have you guys been consistent in the last few years? You know? Yeah, absolutely, yes. yes. Hell to the big dumb yes. Yes, we so, have been. so, so, <laughs> we, just, we just try to work with few strategy, implement few ideas, and then uh -huh. we wait and see, because it's always a process. I could All have right. a shortcut. All right. Yeah. What is the red line? Like, you're coming to me with this, then if, if it has this, then no, it's a no for me. For you, what is the red line? At the end, it's business. Uh -huh. So if there's no contract, there's no agreement. Okay. Yes. So it doesn't matter the controversies, the, the dark past, dark past. So long as you have a contract, you can have a contract. It's not evil, dark person. Yeah, times, sometimes you can be... So many people are behind very influential radio uh, or, or TV stations, but we tend not to know them. Um, we never get a chance to see them. The yeah. producers of, of these amazing shows, the directors, are there, the DOPs are there. Right. But you see, they're doing their best for us to have the best show. 
right. for example. You get it? Okay. So it depends now with what I'm coming to do on board. Am I coming as, as this a, a creative? I'm coming as a strategist, a consultant, yeah. you know, so that yeah. I won't be limited to work with other brands, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, let's go back to the ethics. Uh, before you clarify some two, three things as we close to the end, what are some of the ethics that you stick, uh, you stick by or you stand for, especially when it comes to now uh, brand influencing? Because uh, I, 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 I think I don't want to mention her name. She said, uh, th this, will, this will dent my brand. Stakio Mambo, it will dent my brand. You know, what can dent your brand? And, and now in terms of ethics, mm. and above this, then this I can't. I'm for you, it's come all, come one, or. Okay, um, what will ever dent my, my brand, I'll say, is that uh, if people tell, tend to tell what I've not done, you know, okay. when it comes to now, we're doing a project, it comes to now us faking it, us uh, buying it, selling a wrong vision or plan. Because at the end, it will be so and so who did it. You know, okay. I can't try to f publish a false information about right. someone. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that will, uh, I'll feel like it will cost me. Because yeah. you see, whatever I've invested for the last seven, eight years, just a matter of time a day, I'm gone. Yeah. yeah, like it took you eight, but it can take a few seconds. Even a week. See, so many people are coming up, they're 19, they're 20, they're, 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 they're very influential. Triomi was just coming from high school. Right. Now, now he's, he's a very most influential person right. in 254. Right. And so many more. Right. Yes. Still on that Triomi thing, thank you, you've, you've, you've mentioned it. Uh, I've seen Willie Paul is reuniting with his previous beb. Uh, we're not sure. No, we're not sure about this thing. Is it a true union? Am I new design? I'm not sure if if it's if it's something they're working on. If it's music or it's something they'll benefit as a brand. So that's Good another strategy as a brand now. It depends now with an artist. You see, yeah. was recently in Dubai doing a show. Did you know? No, I actually didn't. You didn't know, know because. But I remember. I, feel like I remember this Shen City story. Yeah, you see. So, so what I'll say is that the way you just sell yourself, the way you push your brand, the way you, because people will get tired. Okay. But why did they have to have these allegations? Uh, you know, maybe rape, um, rape and whatever. But now here they are together. I can't say much because I haven't interact with them on that because okay. there were allegations. We saw it online recently. There was an apology. They're now working together. I've, I've seen, I, I, I believe. Yesterday they said they're now. Together they're dating. Now yeah. it's maybe a movie project, you know. So we, we just need to ask ourselves how long will we be doing this? Okay. It will catch up time. You know, because okay. that's going to say, I'm going to you, I'm going to you. Oh, I'm going to you. We just have to. Bro, do you think that's negative publicity? I mean, it's good no, for them. No, I said them. earlier, publicity is publicity. Yes, publicity. So if it's working for him or, or her, yeah. I have no say. Do you feel like the clients would gravitate to advertise or to punter with such a type of Yes, brand? I believe they are. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering the kind of audience that will go to buy that product. It depends <laughs> and on what the product will, would, would it be? It depends yeah. on the product, you see. Yeah. Uh, that's why you see brands pushing. We'll see few brands working with few corporates. Not every okay. brand will work with, with, with corporates. The way you identify yourself, the way you brand yourself, the way you package yourself, the content you do, the people you interact with. And then if you have a team, they'll sell you. Okay. You know? Right. Uh, but if you want to do it on street, you can do it on the street. All right. Yeah. So before you, before you say your parting shirt, uh, there's a very big reveal on your social media and uh, <laughs> it touches on one of our colleagues, shout out to Kalondo, we used to work together somewhere else, Kalondo Musimi. And then Nikona, you guys are getting married very soon. You needed three million Kenya shillings, she needed her own other money. And you said you're looking, money, you're looking for money for you. And then story, Akimi, Kakuji in between, and then took her and a missing tenor. But here we are. Is it true you guys are going to marry soon? Please invite us as is why in the morning. <laughs> you know, the way we've been raised up is that uh, every young man or a young girl, mostly young girls, wish to have a wedding, you know, in life. But what I'll say for now, if, uh, as an individual, okay. those are plans, you know, to settle, have a family. But for now, uh, whatever I said was yes, I was asked for a three million dowry. I didn't pay because I had two million. 
it doesn't mean that I'm dating or I'm not dating. But okay. when the time comes, I'll confirm who I'm dating. I, the Lord, will, will make a way. But is Kalondu the one? Yes, yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think Kalondu is the one? I'm not thinking for me. I'm, I'm asking you. I'm not sure. Why not? <laughs> you tell me why not. Why not? Yeah. Just be clear. And yes, yeah. Like I'm yes not sure. No. I'm not sure. You're not sure. You're I'm saying that after your three million. Okay, but I'll call. Okay. I'll call her immediately after the Please show. Do to Please do call her. Confirm your story. Please, please. <laughs> but otherwise, away from that, I'll say where people can find you on social media. What else are you working on personally? Me and Tapi TSP and Buzzco Salimia. Now, I can have on it. What? On it for Fla? Flossy. Flossy. Yeah. I'll say hi because we talk some time. Yeah. So please, please, that's your comment. All right. I'll say thank you so much for the years you've been supporting us, and um, I want to say I'm grateful for the opportunity for the fans, family, friends, and colleagues, for you guys to give me this an opportunity. By the way, uh, just to make it clear, this is my first interview. Uh, this, this is your first, first interview? ever interview. Oh, I'm interview. honored, man. Yes, I'm honored. yes, yes. Ho ho hopefully it, uh, it ended today. Then I tried to uh, archives, uh, I think it's like Legends archives or something. Yeah. Definitely, we'll be here for And then it. funny thing, when I, when, when I enter this place, I yeah. remember a time I was coming here for a TV host interview. Wow, yes, like there an was, audition. Uh, yes, there was an audition for... Is it there's a show you guys used to have, KBC show, right. running from five or four, a Mziki right. show. All right. Yeah. So I was here with so many great minds, super DJs. You know, Sammy Fleet used to DJ here? Yeah, yeah including so, President Ali. Yes, yeah, so I used to come here for an audition. Right. Yeah, I remember. But I didn't get the audition, so. But look at you, you came back as a host, yeah, and, uh, bigger and better. Yes, as a guest as well. So right. I want to say thank you so much for the opportunity. Right. And uh, my, my message is that to, to the young guys that okay. are looking forward maybe to leave their dream, okay. just be patient, get the right people, attract the right circle, have the right people with the right mindset, a positive mindset close to you. Okay. Always ready to learn. If you make mistakes, it's part of the process. Okay. But never turn back. Don't graduate and go back home because right. there are no opportunities. I understand there are so many yes, youths yeah. who have graduated, they need jobs, opportunity, but there are no jobs right now. Just right. create whatever you have. If you have a friend who is in the industry, the film industry, movie industry, try, go and learn. Okay. You get? And then for the artists, uh, comedy entertainers in the industry, I'll say this. Right. No branding is branding. No branding is branding. Yes. That's, That's your parting shot. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much, <laughs> Silver Kid. I would really like to know if it's your real name, though. Silver Kid. Uh, it's it's more of a entertainment name, showbiz name. Okay. So people tend to refer me as Silver Kid. Silver Kid. Yes. And it's stuck forever. Yes. Thank you. We have been speaking to Silver Kid. He's a brand influencer, radio, TV host, businessman, entrepreneur. Everything soon to be husband to Kalondo Misimi. We love her. I love her personally because she knows me. Anyways, I'm trying to find credit where it's not even there. But anyways, thank you for gracing us. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right. We'll call it a day. Find us on Facebook, Insta, and on, uh, on, on YouTube as well, including TikTok. Ukitaka kujua nani na dance the very best up IV. And up on the TikTok at 254 channel. Personally at Brian Sokwan1 on the hashtag, which is still why in the morning. Thank you so much.